In this example, I will show you how to create a dynamic menu. We are going to create a little program that will allow us to open some number of picture files and then uh, it will add them uh, to a menu and we can choose which ones to display from the menu. So uh, to get started, of course, uh, I'm going to create uh, a little function. So I'm going to uh, call it pick viewer and um, the, the next thing I might want to do is uh, just get an idea of how this menu should look like so uh, I will have a menu written on it that's a good start isn't it so uh, I will have a new line and then uh, the first option I'm going to have it as option 0 and that is to um, open a picture file and I will just have it at that so then um, I want to get the choice from the user for this now because I will ask them to choose uh, a number uh, a menu item as a number I will say request integer and the string that I uh, created earlier will be the prompt now the reason why I have put it as a string here is because I can um, add things to that string. Now one of the limitations of this program is um, it's not going to remove things. It's not going to allow you to remove things from the uh, the menu. But um, that's uh, another topic for another day. So if I just run this, pick Weaver, you can get an idea of what it'll look like. So that's, that's the basic menu and um, it will allow me to open a picture file. So I can say zero uh, and then I should be able to open a picture file. And once that's opened or, or once that's chosen, it will be added as menu option one. So right now it doesn't matter what I enter uh, into this as long as there's a value there. But um, yes, so um, how can I get this done? So uh, I will develop this iteratively. I am not going to write it from top to bottom. I'm going to show you how to um, develop something similar to this um, in the way we uh, normally develop programs, which is uh, adding little bits of detail um, at a time. So um, I want to say that if the choice um, is a zero, that's when uh, they want to open a picture file so I will allow the user uh, to choose the file using pick a file and then I will store it uh, at least temporarily in a variable called file path now as you know pick a file uh, returns um, a string so if you look at um, the explanation here it says it returns a string that contains a file path so uh, that's what we have uh, from pick a file and then I want to add it as option one uh, of this menu so if I say menu equals menu class uh, I am uh, concatenating or joining up this string with the existing string so if I just say file path here uh, let's see what happens well, this is not what we want but I'll show you how to get there one step at a time so I will choose 0 to open um, and doesn't matter right now what kind of a picture or what kind of a file I choose so I will say ok and um, forgot to display it there um, so I'll just uh, display that for a second it's not exactly how I want to run it ok so choose um, the picture to open and there it is okay so um, this is as I said you know it's uh, not correct I want it to be added as option one and the uh, one I open after that has to be added as option two and so on so there has to be a counting mechanism so let's create a counter variable and I'm going to set it to zero now as soon as so this is going to say how many uh, files have been opened. 
So as soon as the user chooses a file or picks a file, I'm going to say I'm, I want to increment this counter. And when I'm generating this menu or adding this thing to the menu, I'm going to mention the counter value or add the counter value as um, the menu option. So let's see what happens now. So I uh, convert the counter into a string and I add it to the menu. And then uh, I will also make it a little bit nice by putting a colon there saying, okay, if you pay, uh, so it'll look like this. This The zero is for opening a picture. One will be for, uh, option one will be for opening uh, that file uh, that was just chosen. So let's have a look at what this looks like right now. Okay, so uh, open the picture file. I chose zero. And um, if I want to open up uh, the Barbara image right now, it's not displaying anything, but it will just generate the menu. Um, so uh, that's there. So I need to get it onto the next line. How do we do that? Well, we add a new line character. So put that there. And so that, that has the same effect as um, the new line here, uh, which brought um, everything on to the next line, uh, whatever that's to the right uh, of that backslash in to the next line. Okay, so let's choose option zero again, and let's open a file. And you can see it's nicely added um, there. All right, so it works fine. So the next thing I want to do is I want this code to repeat. So I don't want to put that uh, request thing there because I have already done that here. So maybe I can reuse that. So um, I'm going to say while the choice um, is not none. Now the none is a special value. It's not a string. It's not zero. It is uh, something saying that it's the absence. Of a value um, and uh, the choice initially I will uh, set it to zero to say that okay so the first time you run it maybe you want to um, actually it doesn't make a difference uh, the first time you run it but uh, I, it, it will uh, show the menu and it'll ask you whatever what you want to do so we can improve this later all right, so let's take a look at how this is going to work. Um, creates the, the, the first option of the menu string. Now that's never going to change. Uh, I have a counter set to zero, then a choice. Now that's the menu option. Then I will say, um, as long as this choice is not empty or uh, not canceled, um, I want to get uh, the user's choice. So if the user chooses zero, I uh, it means that they want to open a picture file, right? So if that is zero, I will ask them to open a picture file. I will get that file path and store it as a string. And uh, I will increment the counter, which counts how many files um, have been chosen. And to the menu string or the menu message, I will add a new line and uh, add the, the number of the chosen file, uh, the count and then I will add uh, the actual path of the file to that. So uh, keep in mind you're not adding the picture object or anything of that sort. You're just adding the file path to this thing. All right. So uh, then what will happen is if um, the choice is... Uh, so after doing that, it will go back and display the menu over and over again. So if I load this and if I run it and I can say now choose a picture file to open uh, again right now it doesn't matter what kind of pictures or file what kind of files I open it's just going to keep on adding so as long as I press 0 I can add um, anything to this thing so uh, there there's also no restriction on opening the same file but you don't normally do that uh, so like that I can add them to the menu so the next thing I want to do is when I hit one and hit enter, I want to be able to display that picture or do something with that picture. So how can we do that? That's what we're going to look at. Um, also, uh, I will show you now if I if I'm done with this, I can press cancel and there will be no problems. 
uh, it'll just um, quit. So that that happened because we we actually coded for it. We said if the choice is none, um, then we stop. Or in other words, uh, if the choice is not none, we keep repeating the menu. Okay. So here we can say if the choice is not none, um, but not just if, uh, because if the choice is zero also, it's not none. So we want to say elif, uh, because if the choice is not to open the file, um, then we check. Is it cancel? No. If it's not cancel, uh, they only then we want to uh, display this picture. So how can we get this picture? I mean, we want to be able to retrieve uh, previously selected things just from the the, the value in uh, the choice variable. So this is when we will need to create a list of file parts. Uh, so I will create a, an empty list called part list and open and close brackets to create an empty list and um, remember in my uh, code I have this file path um, and um, I generated the menu message I incremented the counter at the same time I can also append this file path to my path list so um, what I can now do is um, when the user chooses something other than zero, when they choose something, um, when they choose uh, one of the picture options, I can retrieve that picture, uh, or I can get that file path to create a picture. So let's uh, do that. Uh, make empty picture is sorry, uh, make picture because we are creating it from a file, not make empty picture. Um, and the next thing you will do is uh, the, the path list and then you will say choice so this refers to um, uh, an element in the lists of paths now there is a problem here um, I will just try to make it work uh, or try to continue with what I start but I'll show you what the problem is so again, um, the, the idea here is to show you how to do this on your own. Um, now, after creating the picture, I will repaint it as I planned on doing. Okay, so I choose to open a picture file. And let's open up Barbara's picture. And now, I don't want to open another file, but I want to display um, the first uh, one that I have done. Now, this will crash. Um, the reason for that is the reason for that is um, the choice is one. That's what I chose. But how many elements do I have in my list? Um, I only ad added the file path that was chosen, so I have only added one element. And we know that lists will count, uh, or lists will start counting counting from zero. So um, I need to start counting from uh, zero, not one. So that's why I have to say choice minus one. So this will bring uh, or this will refer correctly to that picture in the list. So work it out on paper. There are no shortcuts around this sort of thing. You need to um, sometimes get a piece of paper and draw a bunch of boxes and figure out uh, which ones referring to which? So too many, too many students uh, try to do things in in one go and uh, run into uh, problems. All right, so let's run this code. Pick Weaver. All right, so I open a picture. Choose option zero. I will open up um, Barbara's image, and I will say um, I want to display that image. Now if I say OK, it should display. About uh, that image of Barbara Erickson. So then, um, if I want to add another picture, I can I can say zero, and I can choose another picture. So I'll open the this one called the beach, 
and I'll choose that so that's the second one now I can choose say option 2 and then it'll display that picture instead now I can go back to option 1 if I wanted to there's no issue with that um, and so on so um, this code will allow you to add an unlimited number of pictures um, and it will allow you to display uh, um, any number of pictures so you can keep on adding them and uh, when you press the button it will it'll show up the uh, picture that corresponds to it so uh, once I'm tired of it I can just say cancel um, I can add further input validation to this uh, for example if I say 4 right now um, it will uh, again uh, crash because it's it doesn't have that picture in there um, so when it tries to access uh, the path uh, from the um, the list it will uh, not work so uh, what I can uh, I can add another condition here I can say while the choice is not none and the choice is um, less than um, uh, or equals to count so uh, in, in situations like this try to imagine uh, just one or two pictures don't think of 10 pictures and what count will be and so on um, so if um, there's only one picture count will be one and if the the person wants to display the picture they will choose one so uh, that's fine um, count, choice is um, less than or equals to count it's actually equals to count so that's the last value that you can access if they if the choice is two then that's too many because count is still one um, and then uh, it will just not get into this uh, it will just not show an error message also so let's see how that validation part works okay so I can say um, one right now and it should not do anything like that so I can open a picture now and open the same picture and if I say one it will work now but if I say two it will not do anything it will not crash um, at least so uh, if I want to add another picture I can do that so I can add um, any number of pictures and um, it only works for the options that are there in the menu so once I'm tired I can always say cancel and the program will exit um, gracefully